class today, I should at least book one in the area that I need to go to. So I'm taking neighborhood bar this morning. I took a pure bar class earlier this week actually. It wasn't my first pure bar class. I think I've taken seven now Take at this miles. point. Take exit 276 onto Fayetteville Road. I think I've taken at least seven bar classes at Pure Bar at this point. I don't think Pure Bar is for me. I think that I would like bar. I just don't really like the environment of Pure Bar. I can't quite put my finger on it. But I was recommended this bar studio. And like I said, I have errands to run here afterwards. So that's what I'm on my way to go do right now. I woke up at 6.30. I've been waking up earlier lately because I got the hatch alarm clock. I know there's a lot of controversy and most people would say that you don't need to spend that much money on an alarm clock but as someone who snoozes all of their alarms and dreads waking up for that very reason i think it's money well spent in my opinion keep right toward durham and downtown the screen in my car that you can control the gps voice with is like in the exact position where i need to press to mute the voice it's not recognizing my finger so i've had to deal with the annoying little GPS Use the voice. right two lanes to keep right toward Durham and downtown. That's then okay. turn left onto Highway 54. I'm gonna take this bar class and then we'll run some errands At the after light. work. Use the left two lanes. Okay, out of my class, this is the studio that I went to. It's called Neighborhood Bar. It's NB Bar, if you've ever seen that. It's like a franchise, I think. So you might have one in your area, even if you're not in Raleigh. But I really liked it. I just think that Pure Bar is probably better for people that have like baseline dance bar knowledge, which is not me. So I find it really hard to follow along with those classes. But the verbal cues that the instructor was giving was amazing. And she was pointing out like which muscle groups you should be feeling, the certain like positions in and stuff, which was nice because that's something with Pure Bar. Like I don't know if I'm even targeting the right muscles since it's such like a slight change in your position that I'm, I don't know. I just like this one better. So if you've tried a pure bar and you weren't a huge fan and you're like me and you don't really have that baseline dance background knowledge from childhood, then maybe try a different bar studio in your area because I actually really enjoyed it and I was under the impression that I just didn't like bar and I think I'm just not a good fit for pure bar. I am going to find a Starbucks drive through so I can get a quick breakfast sandwich and then we are going to head over to the mall and look for shoes for something very exciting this weekend well, let me get some breakfast before I explain to you what we're actually doing in today's video okay actually I'm right next to this coffee shop so I'm gonna go here because I've been recommended this place and I don't think it's near me in Raleigh this might be a Durham thing I don't know either way we'll give it a try I got a breakfast burrito and an ice cream tea I'm gonna eat this really quick and then we'll head over to the mall okay this is delicious I'm so glad I did this instead of Starbucks okay I'm running around today prepping for a weekend trip up to DC to see some friends but more importantly for Mary's wedding so that is what my whole focus of today is. It's spray tan, manicure, gotta find some shoes to match my dress. I am in like full little weekend trip prep, but then also wedding guest prep because it's an event, you know? It's actually black tie optional, which is the fanciest wedding I've ever been to. So I have this beautiful dress to wear and I'm so excited. Kind of feels like a little prom situation. I'm just embracing the preparation for this because not often that I get to dress up and go to and things like this. So I'm just making a whole thing out of it. The wedding's on Saturday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow I am driving up to DC. I'm gonna stay with a friend Friday night, have a hotel for Saturday night, and then Sunday come back to Raleigh. But Mary has been very private with like the planning and like the date and her whole wedding in general. So I don't know when this video will actually go live. Obviously I won't post it until Stay she's in the second lane from right this is so annoying but i'm so excited for her the venue is beautiful i'm really excited about the hotel i booked it's called lyle hopefully it lives up to my expectations because it is a beautiful hotel and they have this white couch in every room like the hotel looks like clara in a hotel but that's what we're doing today but if that breakfast burrito is any indication of how today's gonna go it's gonna be a good day I kind of like these, but I'm not gonna go with the first ones I see. Oh, I really like these. Okay, that's not bad. Knowing myself, these would be the best options because they're so short and I can barely walk in heels. Okay, how do we feel about these? 
I wish you could just like tell me in real time because I'm not convinced. Ew, why am I also giving my feet away for free? What am I thinking? Okay, I consulted my friend Francesca and she said that they were way too casual for the dress that I'm wearing, which I don't disagree with. Honestly, that's kind of why I like them because I was like, oh, I can get like more use out of them. But I need to find like actual nice dressy heels. I wonder where else I could go in here. Honestly, maybe I'll check H&M because that's right up here. Okay, I love these, but they're tens and I'm an eight. And go figure that they don't have like any eights today. Nordstrom Rack really quickly and then I'll probably just give up and make one of my existing pairs work. But we'll see what they have here. Okay, I have a couple contenders. I really just want one that doesn't have an ankle strap around the ankle. So hopefully these fit. Shoes acquired, I just got this pair. There's an Ulta in the shopping center too. So I'm gonna drive over there and get this like hair shine spray. It's not like sparkly glitter, but it makes your hair super shiny and I wanna do shiny curls. And then I need to go home because it's already noon and I've been out way too long and I have so much to do. I think this is it. Ooh, but there's this too. I like that packaging up some meatballs for lunch this was just what i made yesterday they are spinach greek turkey meatballs spinach feta turkey meatballs i think actually but let me show you my outfit situation while those heat up might be hard to see with the contrast against the white bed but i have this giant big fluffy high low dress situation and these are the shoes that i just got obviously from nordstrom rack but this dress, oh my gosh, the camera is just not doing it justice. It looks insane on. It looks so expensive, so luxe. It kind of looks like anthro. Um, I haven't even said where it's from. It's literally from Windsor, like the prom section at Windsor. I was losing all hope. I had ordered two House of CB dresses. Neither of them fit. And I couldn't get an exchange because they were both out of stock of the sizes that I did need. A couple days ago, I went on basically like a mad dash around Raleigh to see what I could get in store. And I tried like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, Macy's, Anthropology. Anthropology had really cute dresses, but I forgot to mention Mary is doing like one of those color scheme suggestions for the guests. It's not mandatory per se, but on the invitation it did say that they invite their guests to participate in wearing the wedding colors. So black, navy blue, earth tones. Um, but basically I did find a dress I liked, Anthropology, but it was like fluorescent orange. So I wasn't about to wear that. Gorgeous. If you need a fluorescent orange dress, go to Anthropology. But I was losing all hope and I started searching prom stores and Windsor came up. So I went to Windsor and I was standing in a sea of like sweaty hormonal teenagers getting their prom dresses and I found that and it's incredible. I should, here, let me try and like set my camera up and I'll hold it up to myself. I'm gonna hold it up to my body. Um, I'm not gonna try it on, but I'll insert some clips and pictures of me wearing the dress. Once I have a tan. Yeah, this camera isn't doing it justice whatsoever, but it's an insane dress. And the best part was, I think it was, let me check. It's like junior sizing too. So it's three, five, seven, whatever. It's like the odd number sizing, but it was under a hundred dollars for this absolutely insane, gorgeous gown. Excited, And I think the shoes are gonna go perfectly now that I'm seeing it. Just finished lunch. So my next order of business are my nails. If you can see, I already did them <laughs> yesterday actually. I put like little gems on some of them, but I've already picked the majority of them off mainly because I realized that I like the look of the gems. I think that would be super cute for like a beach trip, a girl's trip, something like that. Just not for a black tie wedding. I felt that it kind of, I mean, the vibe of the outfit just isn't this. So I think I'm just gonna do a baby pink. Um, and you're probably wondering why I don't just pick the gems off and then leave this coat underneath, which would probably save me a lot of time, but it's because in certain lightings, you can see where the gems were glued on. And I don't know, that's gonna drive me crazy. And like I said, I'm taking this seriously. I'm literally treating this like prom. I don't know if this is normal, but I'm doing it. So I'm gonna do my nails now. I actually reorganized all of my nail stuff the other day. I have these containers from Container Store and they stack up perfectly and they actually go up there. And I just have like six years worth of nail supplies that I've just accumulated over time. You do not need this much stuff to do your own gel nails, but this is just everything I have. So I like that these all nest together too. All I really need right now is my remover. This is what I use to get off my gel polish. It's like literally paint thinner for your nails. Come on, focus. There we go. So this is not good for you whatsoever, but oh well. 
I think I'm gonna do this shade of pink, which contrary to popular belief is a different shade than the pink that is already on my nails. Sorry, I don't know why it's not focusing. But I'm gonna do that pink. I'll need my top coat and my base coat. I'll need my cuticle oil. And then obviously the lamp, but I'm gonna work on taking these nails off and then I'll quickly paint the pink. With this stuff, you just file off your top coat, like the top shiny part, and then you paint on the sketchy paint thinner and it just crackles up and then you can just scrape it off. Better for your nails than filing it off, especially if you're not very skilled with filing all of your gel off because then I feel like it's very easy to thin your nail over time. So I don't know. The only reason I know about this remover is because I went to Gloss Lab, which is like a huge chain of waterless nail salons. So in order to remove your gel, they use this stuff. So when they were using it on me, I was like, okay, I need to find out what that is. And in my mind, if a huge corporation is using this on their clients, I feel like it can't be that bad, right? That would just be a huge liability for them if it was that bad for you. That's my logic anyways. Okay, nails are done with this little baby pink and I'm about to jump in the shower and remove some of my self tan so I can go get a spray tan. This is new to me. I've never really used this before. Let's see. Apply to dry skin. Five minutes shower with warm water. Let's try this out and see. Hopefully this doesn't impact like the tan sticking to me same day. It doesn't say anything about waiting and not using this the same day that you plan on applying. So let's give this a go. Okay, I'm showered and exfoliated. I don't know if this really Really did much because I didn't have much on my skin to begin with but I think a good test for this will be if my hands or anything look crazy this might be a good way to like fix a spray tan mess up but I totally forgot to schedule one of those like nicer spray tans I wanted to get someone to come to my house and they were all booked up so I think I'm gonna go to like Palm Beach tan or Suntan City I used to go to Suntan City all the time in college. I was like addicted to it. Everything left on my to-do list for today is stuff that I need to just be like sitting at my computer or like in my apartment for. I still have to pack. I have to switch some laundry actually, but that'll be perfect because I'll just be marinating in the tan. Quick pit stop to get something for Polly because I didn't realize I would be by a Dollar Tree. Let's see if they have it. Yes, she loves these. Little mini body wash. How do I look? That was $8, so if I look bad, I'm not out much money. I ended up getting the Malibu Dark Double Legs and Hydration, $8. Don't know how that added up. Usually in college, I would go during the free spray tan weeks at Suntan City, during like their cheaper weeks, and normally once you add on the Double Legs and the Hydration and all that jazz, it gets more expensive, but getting them to come to your house and spray you is so worth it. It's one of my favorite things because they usually spray like this powder on you afterwards so you're not all clammy for the rest of the day. And then if you think about it, personally, one of my least favorite parts of getting a spray tan is like having to put on clothes afterwards. But if you're already in your home and they spray you while you're naked, you just like tell them to show themselves out and then you can just like be naked for an hour or two until you feel like completely dry. I don't know. I think it's so worth it. I need to get the AC on in here before I sweat this off. It's really cold today, but I'm sweating to death. Anyways, we'll see how this turns out. I might owe Mary a formal apology for an Oompa Loompa being in the background of all of her wedding pictures. But I got Polly's little scratcher thing. This actually gets eaten. She chews on these. <laughs> she doesn't scratch at them, um, but she loves them. I'm actually boarding her this weekend, which is something I've never done before, so I'm a little bit worried. So I'm gonna send her with like her favorite toys and stuff. It's really hard to find people to board rabbits, and if they do, they board them in like a cage, like you would like a hamster or something, and that's just not Polly. You know, she's more like a cat. But I remember that her groomer from Northern Virginia is only bunnies. Like she only does bunnies. She grooms them, boards them. I don't know what else she does to them. But she's, the whole business is centered around bunnies, like Polly free roam bunnies. Like they have their own rooms, they have like grass, and it's so cute. I think she'll actually kind of like it. All the bunnies are kept separately, so it's not like she's gonna like meet different bunnies. It's just gonna be her, but they're like very attentive and I trust that. I usually leave Polly with my mom, but it just made more sense instead of going out of the way to bring Polly to my mom, which is like three hours there, three hours back, and then obviously I would have to go pick her up too. So what is that, 12 hours of driving? I thought it would make more sense, bring her with me to Northern Virginia, board her there, and then pick her up on the way home. 
I don't know. I hope she likes it. I'm kind of worried because like I'm not gonna know if she doesn't like it. I just broke a nail. I don't even know where it went, which is almost more concerning. Half my nail is somewhere floating around here. But now I have to come up with a way to fix this. I have some tips. I might just take all this gel polish off, put on a tip, and paint it again. That's so upsetting. I don't want to cut all my nails because I think the longer nails are kind of a vibe for the wedding. But I did get a package from Smart Sweets, so I guess that's my consolation prize. I don't know if I should eat the peach rings or the fish. I think the fish. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I feel like you can hardly tell, at least from a distance. These are the tips that I used to use all the time. I haven't really used them a lot lately, but I just glue them the whole nail down onto my nail, obviously. I'm glad that happened while I still had time to fix it. It would have really sucked if that happened while I was on the road or something, so. Tell me why it just happened again. I had literally just sat down to start working on my newsletter. Back to the bathroom. Okay, repair number two is done. And I just packed up this little makeup bag with a little on-the-go nail fixing thing. This is a little mini nail light that would be perfect if I have to fix a nail or something. Not ideal, but I only care for photos. And clearly my nails are really fragile and I need to trim them down. But I'll do that after the trip because I don't have time to just completely redo my manicure. I also started pulling aside other stuff for packing. I have that spray. I just got it Ulta today. This is like body makeup from Saint Tropez. Body bronzer. I got the light medium one. And I have this little brush thing from Bali Body, which is made for products like this, I think. So I can always use that on my chest or my legs if they need a little bit of a boost on Saturday. Just gonna bring my curling iron instead of bringing the air wrap because this obviously is easier to travel with. And then these are my longer set of extensions in case I wanna wear those. I've also started laying out some clothes. I just did some laundry, so I'm kind of pulling stuff aside as I fold it. This is an outfit for Saturday. This is the outfit I'll probably wear tomorrow tomorrow in the car driving there and then in the evening hanging out with Francesca. Some pajamas and like comfy clothes for her house and then the hotel. All right, my final selections I think are locked in. Comfy clothes, Saturday, Sunday, probably with one of those sweatshirts. Friday, I realized tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so great excuse to wear my green set active set. This is kind of like my brunch vibe. Little satin skirt with this might be cute. This was an impulse buy at Marshall's if you can't tell. Or this black dress with this blazer. The vibe of the brunch place is really 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 cool So I want to kind of match the vibe in the lobby of the hotel So I don't have to worry about like the practicality of walking around in this but for either of those options I think these black tall Steve Madden boots would work just fine And then obviously the dress and everything for the wedding my dress is in this Bay's weekender bag And obviously this is a tux rental dress shoes And then I have some of my stuff most of my stuff already in my suitcase I'm gonna film one of my standard packing montages tomorrow I just don't want to do it tonight in this lighting so everything is set and ready to go So I'll just do my fun little video tomorrow morning in the light. I also have an hour left of sitting in this tan. Is it weird to show you my stomach? I don't know. So I'm gonna at least be up for another hour This is all laundry right here in front of me that you can't really see. I'm gonna pick out some underwear I always feel so ambitious the day before an event or the day before like a trip or something and I have so much on my list and then it never goes according. Actually, I probably would have gotten a lot more done if it wasn't for the freaking nail situation, but that's okay. Just imagine if I like didn't do my own nails and that happened, that would have been a disaster because I would have been stressed about going back to the nail salon. Things to be thankful for. <laughs> Okay, I'll be honest, the spray tan is not giving what I was hoping it would give. So I'm going to wait, obviously, overnight and see if it develops a little bit more. Because, you know, sometimes spray tans do that. They continue to darken, like, even after you shower. And maybe in the morning, I'll put on, like, a quick layer of my tanologist self-tan. I don't know. That might be a little bit overdramatic. But I was hoping to have a little bit more color than this. We'll see how it looks in the morning. Good morning. It's Friday now. St. Patrick's Day. And my tan looks pretty good, honestly. I don't know if you can really see. I think it's more so the lighting in my bathroom. I always say this and it seems like an excuse, but the lighting in the bathroom really messes with my skin tone because in videos, I swear my foundation looks seven shades different than the rest of my body, but in person, like it does match me. I've gotten matched before and that's what I match at. But in that lighting, I get roasted. Like it's definitely just that lighting. But I did try and use that remover stuff just on the palm of my hands to try 
and prevent any of this from like developing further this hands a little bit worse it's like 8 30 leaving at 11 how many hours is that two and a half yes two and a half hours so i'm gonna finish packing right now this is everything i've pulled aside i got this eyeshadow palette from ColourPop, and i feel like these colors will be perfect fresh dipstick because mine ran out i like completely used an entire dipstick they're so good random makeup brushes and then like my usual face products but i'm also bringing this rare beauty blush i should probably bring a powder bronzer too i really only have that one okay all packed up i just put my suitcase by the door so i can cross off finish packing for my to-do list next up i have an hour and 30 minutes actually left before i leave for reference but i want to film like a quick clean with me i just want to do the sheets vacuum freshen up the bathroom like living room like nothing major but since i'm gone on sunday and i feel like people expect to see like some sort of cleaning video for me on sundays i like to have something prepped even if it's not like a true sunday reset I'll just call it like a clean with me or something. Maybe I'll post them on Saturday. That is what I'm going to do next. I really want to wash the sheets so they're fresh when I get back. But that would take longer than an hour and a half. So I might do them on quick wash. Never really done that. But if I just do the sheets, not the duvet, I feel like it should be fine. Because it's not that big of a load of laundry. I don't know. We'll see. Little 1030 check in. It's been like, what, 45 minutes? And the apartment looks great. Living room looks good. Cleaned crumbs and stuff off the table. Dishes are all done. Laundry is in progress. Cracked into a Celsius, which might be why I've gotten so much done in the past hour. Sheets are washing. I just did the sink and toilet in here and then vacuumed, but I have fresh towels waiting. So basically all I need to do is just put the sheets on the bed and then the apartment will be ready to leave. All right, just gathering up the last couple of things before I head out. I got some stuff for Polly, some last minute things that I was forgetting, and then water for the road. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna end today's video here and get on the road. If you wanna see more YouTube videos from me, make sure you're subscribed and follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more daily content. But I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.